So you're not actually lazy. You've just completely unoptimized your life for productivity and you've just optimized your life for laziness. And so using these three tips, I was able to start living my life instead of being chained down by the identity that I cultivated of being such a lazy person. And so by the end of this video, you'll be left with the exact action steps that you need to take today in order for you to start optimizing your life for productivity, fullness, satisfaction, and richness. Let's get this. So let's just give a bit of a context. Literally, 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 how lazy was I? Because like, you know, right now I'm literally hardworking. I'm not lazy at all, I'm active. So how did I go from the past version of myself, which is where I watched 13 to 15 hours of anime binge watching every single day to the person that literally creates and does things that fulfills her. Now I go to the gym, now I have a sleep schedule, now I have a social life, right? So how did I make that shift of being such a lazy person to being the person that has her life together? How do you actually get your life together and stop being lazy? Well, today I'm literally about to tell you and you are literally gonna be left with the exact action steps in order for you to literally start optimizing your life and start having fun with your life and start actually enjoying your life. And so the first step, is to actually have the desire to change. You need to have to have the want to actually change and stop being lazy. You need to look at your life and ask yourself if you actually want to change. And so if the answer to that is no, then this video is literally not for you. Go watch another video. Change starts with the strong desire to actually change oneself. You need to actually have the desire to change because the only person that's gonna be able to change you is yourself. I'm not gonna change you, your mom's not gonna change you, your siblings aren't gonna change you, you are going to be changing yourself. The only thing that I can do is to help you in providing a framework, into giving you knowledge so that you can actually take action into changing your life. And so you need to recognize that deep down is this state of laziness, is this state of doing absolutely nothing with your life, is this state of just binge watching or binge consuming every single thing on the internet that's actually serving you. Because if it is totally, you know, whatever, you know, let it be, you know, I don't give a frick, you can go and click on another video. I don't care. But if you think that the answer to that is that, you know what, I'm not being served by being lazy, you know, my life is going terrible and, you know, something probably needs to change. Then this video is for you and continue watching because you'll be left with the exact steps that you need and you will start changing your life right now. And so if you think that you're feeling stuck in life, if you feel like you're going nowhere in life, realize that the first step to changing is having the desire to change in the first place. Once you've started cultivating this desire to change and starting to recognize that, you know, something needs to change if I want to have a better life, right? You need to start taking small little tiny little steps in the right direction. Okay, and so what does this actually look like? Small things such as like just doing your laundry or just making sure that your desk is clean or just making sure that there's nothing on your floor, you know? Just make small little goals for yourself that are super simple and easy to achieve. And so when you start to actually take action upon these small little things, then you're proving to yourself that, oh my God, like I'm actually not that lazy because I'm actually being able to keep my environment clean. I'm actually able to be a bit independent, right? So I don't really have to, you know, be dependent anymore. I'm showing myself that I'm independent and that I'm not really that lazy, right? And just by doing these small little actions, you start to build just a little bit more momentum every single day. And once you get this momentum going, once you get this snowball going down this hill, it's gonna be so much more easier for you to be able to do harder things in your life. You start to realize, oh, you know, I'm not lazy. I'm actually capable of creating an environment that is actually clean, tidy, and organized. When your environment is clean, tidy, and organized, you actually get to have different thoughts. You actually get to cultivate different thoughts in yourself. Things just end up being better. And so once you've gotten these small changes going, obviously at this point, you haven't completely gotten over your lazy era. You haven't completely been like de lazified right? What can you do now that you taken these small steps, you've started to build a momentum, what do you do now? So the next step is to start getting busy with your life. Actually start creating non-negotiable things. Start creating obligations that you have to go to in your life, okay? Like start school, start a part-time job, start a side hustle. Start signing up for like networking events to like meet with new people. When you fill up your time, you're not going to be able to have enough time to do the action that's causing you to continue to be lazy, whether that be like binge scrolling or whether that be binge watching, whatever it may be, you're gonna be losing that time 
and be dedicating that time to something that's more productive and because you've like signed up for an event or invested some sort of money then you're like literally obliged to go and then you're gonna be like okay well i already signed up for this i have to go right once you start to get busy with your life you won't have that much time left for unproductive habits in your life when you start to do it less and then maybe do it again after you've stopped doing it for like two days then you realize that like wait is this even like that good like that wasn't even that fun right and so you'll slowly start to lose interest in the thing you will literally naturally slowly start to lose interest right and so that's exactly what happened to me right like i, I got so busy with school i stopped watching any anime and then like i'm like okay you know what if i want to be like somewhat happy while i do school then i actually have to start taking care of myself and therefore i don't even have enough time to like binge watch 13 hours of anime because i was so busy and then when i start to watch anime again i'm like that's not even that fun why am i even doing this and so then naturally like that i just ended up stopping and i ended up converting that habit that was unproductive into something that was so much more productive like gaining more knowledge and taking care of my health and taking care of my mental health and everything and so once you start to create these actions in your life once you start to take action in your life then you need to start creating some identity shifts here okay and this video is very related to the video about limiting beliefs that i created before like six months back so make sure you go check that out too because there's a more in-depth explanation on how you can get over your limiting beliefs and how you can actually create identity shifts in your life when you start to make the correct identity shifts things work out for you you'll no longer see yourself as someone that's lazy right and so because you don't identify as a lazy person, you don't do habits that a lazy person does. Then, if you're not identified with the fact that you're not lazy, that means you're active, and that means you're productive, and that means you're all of these other things that are the opposite of lazy, right? And so you have to make the correct identity shifts in order to stop being lazy. So once you've started creating these identity shifts, then you can actually start to incorporate healthier habits into your life. It's going to be easier for you to actually incorporate healthy habits into your life. So yeah, those are basically the three main things that I started doing in my life to stop being a lazy person and stop identifying with the fact that I was such a lazy person. So the first step is to recognize that you have the desire to change. Ask and question yourself if you're truly satisfied with your life that you're living. Are you truly satisfied with the current habits that you have in your life? Are you truly satisfied? being this lazy in your life you know being lazy actually contributing anything positive to your life if you continue to live your life just like this for the next five years would you be satisfied with the life that you had lived would you be satisfied with the outcome of you continuing the habits that you currently have for the next five years and so once you've recognized that you have this desire for change the next thing you need to do is to write down three small things that you can start doing today and these are the small simple little tasks that i talked about earlier right it can be small things such as making sure that you do your laundry every week or making sure that your desk is kept clean three small little habits to implement into your life every day to make sure that your environment is clean right and it doesn't even have to be related to your environment it could be like related to other things too such as school or such as work or such as relationships right and so just decide on three small things that you can start incorporating over the next month and so once you start building up these little actions every week or so then you'll actually start to make small little identity shifts and these identity shifts will lead to big returns because it's going to prove to yourself that you're not as lazy as you think you are and the third thing is to start getting busy sign up for classes sign up for events sign up for school sign up for work do something that fills up your time so you don't have the luxury to actually spend time doing the unhealthy habit that is causing you to be lazy invest in yourself invest in your relationships invest in your wealth that's basically it for this video i hope that it provided you with a framework that actually helps you to stop being lazy and if you tried out this framework and you find out that it worked or didn't work let me know in the comments down below because i'm always looking on improving my frameworks improving on the videos that i make and making sure that i give value to you guys right and so that's basically it i'm krisha and i will see you next week